Even before June arrives, North and Central India are already facing an intense heat wave. On Wednesday, temperatures soared over 50 degrees Celsius in several areas of Delhi and Rajasthan. But there is some relief following last evening's shower. Thursday brought a slight drop in temperatures in the national capital with the mercury settling at 41.8 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, other major cities also experienced some respite with Bangalore at 30.4 degrees Celsius and Chennai at 39 degrees Celsius. The spike in temperatures during May, June and July is commonly linked to the urban heat island effect, where cities become significantly warmer than their surroundings. But what about the El Nino effect? El Nino is marked by unusually warm ocean temperatures in the parts of the Pacific Ocean, causing sea surface temperatures to rise. This cycle began in 2023 and is expected to last until June this year. While it has led to extreme summer conditions, El Nino will soon weaken, paving the way for the arrival of La Lina. What is La Lina? La Lina involves the cooling of Pacific Ocean waters and occurs irregularly, yet it brings significant changes to the weather patterns. Once La Lina takes effect, India is expected to experience a favorable monsoon this year. Why do heat waves occur? Changes in our atmosphere and oceans trigger them, posing a serious risk of heat stress, particularly in the north, central and eastern parts of the country. A recent study by IMD reveals alarming statistics. Over the past 40 years, India has witnessed a 30% rise in heat stress cases, with temperatures in central India, northwest India and eastern coastal areas soaring by 4 to 5 degrees Celsius above normal summer levels. These findings highlight the urgent need for measures to address the impact of rising temperatures on public health and well-being.